As a matter of fact, blood is life. Thanks to modern science, it has become possible for people who have suffered the loss of blood to receive replacement from another person of the same blood type. One pint of blood, given at the right time, has often meant life instead of death. A major operation on the brain, heart or lungs can cause sufficient shock to any person to cause his death. Besides operations, there are accidents. Accidents happen every day. It is no respecter of age, position or circumstance. An accident simply happens when it does. And so operations go on daily, on the hour, in all our hospitals and clinics. Though many are saved, a greater number of people die unnecessarily because of the lack of blood. It would be ideal indeed were whole blood available every hour, every day of the year, but unfortunately, blood never seems available when it is needed most. Very seldom have accident stories ended happily as it did for this little girl who, months later, emerged from the hospital fully recovered. Many times, because these bottles have been empty, the cemeteries have been filled. In order that this tremendous need for blood might be coped with, it became necessary to create a bank or storing point from which this all-important life-giving fluid could be dispensed. The Philippine National Red Cross started its own blood bank, a repository for blood that had been donated by civic-spirited citizens. Drives and campaigns were organized to increase the deposit at the bank, but the blood has never been enough. The Philippine National Red Cross had been challenged by the public with an almost limitless need for blood. And the Red Cross has exerted time and effort to answer this tremendous demand. But the empty bottles remain empty while many lives have been lost. 
As fast as blood has been collected and brought in for processing, just as fast has the public drained it. Now, this is the way it works. Blood can be donated by individuals or groups by arrangement with the Red Cross. Civic duty and regard for fellow man has prompted organizations to donate blood as a gesture of selflessness and boundless charity. Everyone has been enjoined to donate blood. The response has always been immediate, but the fact is even more blood is desperately needed. Foreign visitors to the Philippines, realizing the need of the nation to maintain its health with a ready supply of good blood, have donated willingly. Let us suppose someone very dear and very close to you were to meet with an accident or needed a critical operation immediately. And the doctor were to ask you to get whole blood to save your dear one's life. Where would you think of getting that blood? From the blood bank, of course. But then, let us suppose further, and this is almost what always happens, when you ask for the blood, the blood bank is empty. What then? Let's cite a few actual cases. In the Kazan Institute, in the children's ward, there are 18 children who today are doomed to die. They need an operation, each one of them, but they need blood for it. There is no blood available. Meanwhile, these children are wasting away, ready for their graves. Now, as far as you are concerned, they are just unknown quantities, but suppose again they were your children. What then? To give blood. Therefore, to give life is an obligation of one human to another. It is an obligation that surmounts the barriers of race or creed. It is the duty of man to help fellow man. Expressed in more physical terms, the blood bank needs more receiving stations than the mere five scattered throughout the width and breadth of the Philippines. There is only one thing needed to increase these blood banks, your blood. Let's look a little closer home. For your own personal protection, you should have your blood examined and typed. You're not sure when you might need an operation or when you might figure in an accident. There should be no time lost then. Within a matter of minutes, the blood bank should be able to specify the type of blood that you have so that it can readily place at your disposal the help that others are willing to extend to you. Here are some more facts to remember. A man's body contains approximately 16 glasses of blood. The loss of three glasses can cause anemia. The loss of six can cause death. The loss or donation of one glass is not only not harmful, but many times helpful. Remember, only those in good health are asked to donate blood. Only those whose ages range from 20 to 60 years are accepted as donors. For them is offered the opportunity of making the idea behind the blood bank a wholly sensible and compensatory endeavor. Don't be a wise guy. If the Red Cross appeals to you, don't say, what do you want, blood? <laughs> because the Red Cross does, critically. Remember these faces that soon will die. These facts speak for themselves. But so will these empty bottles one day. The need for blood is a violent fact. Let's face it.